Yes, people, welcome to another Chelsea video. Man, keeping you guys up to date every single day. The latest Chelsea news. I told you guys I got deadlines after deadlines after deadlines. But I'm gonna try and throw in a quick video every single day when possible. Sometimes streaming. Let me know where you're tuning in from, what country, what time zone. Are you excited about Chelsea's future? Poch has been at Chelsea. First training session has taken place as well, which we'll get into. Before I get to everything, make sure you look, smash that like button. One click, people, helps on the channel. It is free, people. I'm sure you guys can just click that like button. It supports me a lot. So please do. Subscribe as well. Hit the notification. Tune in every single day. Comment down below thoughts and opinions. There'll be a video out on Sid TV as well. I've not done one in quite a while now, and I'm trying to upload every couple of days over that channel where I discuss all transfers around the world. But the main topic today, of course, Casado. Everyone's asking me, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Fabrizio Romano gave us an update yesterday. Chelsea spoke to Brighton on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, which was Monday. Chelsea want to get this deal done for 70 million plus 10 million bonuses, around 80 million pounds. Brighton want more than this deal still on though. So, as we know, Declan Rice went for 105 million. Players are leaving for crazy, crazy amount of money right now. So Brighton are looking at looking at that basically and thinking we can get more money from Chelsea Football Club. We've rinsed Chelsea Football Club. Graham Potter, you know, your Kukureas. Let's do Casado now. Let's try to get around 100 million basically. And if it's going to be 100 million, we need to walk away. We simply need to walk away. We are signing youngsters after youngsters after youngsters. That money can be used on senior players. Some of you guys telling me, yeah, it's all good. Like we're signing top, you know, youngsters around the world. And I get it. The project is looking bright, but sometimes we just spent 600 million in the last two windows. We raised sales and then we're spending on youngsters again. It don't really add up for me. If you're going to reinvest, go reinvest in the big names, experienced players that can take us back to the top. I'm not here to wait another five, six years. I'm not here for that. I'm cool with like one or two years, the rebuild situation and that, cool. But realistically, we should be challenging. We are Chelsea Football Club. We are not a rubbish club, people. We're not Arsenal. We're not Tottenham. We're not these teams where they need time and time. And look, some of them still haven't won big trophies. It's as simple as that, people. We need to be realistic. We are the biggest club in London. We're probably the third biggest club in England. Okay? Chelsea should be doing better. So that's my message to the owners. We should be spending and investing back in senior players that can help us right this second. But as I said, Casado, I don't know what we're going to do, people. Personal terms agreed. What is going on? I'm not sure, but 80 million has been offered. 70 plus 10. We are basically waiting for that. Yesterday, we had the first interview from Poch. The aura, the source in the kit as well. Perfect. He also invited all Chelsea staff to a barbecue yesterday to meet his team and himself, of course. And uh, I think that's a very, very good move, obviously. We need that. We need that connection in the Chelsea. We need to make sure everyone's on the same page. We need to start again. It's been a horrible 12 to 18 months. Come on, guys. Let's let's get our Chelsea back. That's what I want to see personally. Of course, I spoke about Mr. Ryan yesterday. Of course, this is special. With the talks happening with Pulisic, which we've got bad news on Pulisic, which I'll get into. It's only come out in the last hour. But basically, when we spoke to Pulisic about Leon um, about Pulisic to Leon. He was also mentioned, and we've been keeping tracks on him, especially when we signed Marlo Gosta as well, who will be joining us this summer. Thiago Silva is the front runner to become a new Chelsea captain. The three outsiders are Rhys James, Kepa and Raheem Sterling. Uh, Raheem Sterling, I understand, but I don't think he's done enough for Chelsea in order to get that. Kepa, certainly not. We know what he's done against Sarri in the um, Carabao Cup final against Man City. Rhys James, for me, makes sense 100%. Through and through Chelsea understands it, Papa Chels, Minerals, everything that you don't want to hear about Mason Mount is basically Reese James, people. Taylor Silva is the front runner, of course, and I think with his leadership, yes, we do need one. Will he play every single game? That is another question for sure. Hakim Ziyech sent shots to everyone. Knee, knee problems, right? Indicating he's fine. Let's see what happens. Callum Hudson-Odoi has decided to leave Chelsea Football Club. The superstar, the chosen one, the amazing one, the orange slices, 
with Pulisic on the other side with the apple slices, Matt J. Ball, Carlito, everyone on my case, mocking me, laughing at me. Got KJ taking a pee out of me right now about Colonel Hudson. Day. And yes, it's been a difficult um, experience, of course. Yes, uh, I know this guy personally, like, you know, got shout outs, photos, seen him in person, all that stuff. And just, and before his injury, he was going to be a special player. Honestly, he was going to be a special player. But just like Ruben off his cheek, injuries ruin careers. And for me, just hasn't hasn't got back to his best, nowhere near his best. Maybe one preseason game against Arsenal or saw it, maybe that's it. Under Tuchel. Anything else, I didn't really see it. Against Juve, Champions League, decent. But it is time to go, people. It is time to go. When you lose that yard in, in pace, the confidence, and you're worried, you're you're hesitant to take on players. That was his game. Uh, and it's time to go. And we're hearing that basically Fulham, AC Milan, Nottingham Forest, Crystal Palace are interested. Mother take off for AC Milan off that list because they're probably signing Pulisic. From what we understand, Leon cannot sign any transfers. French football's financial what the watchdogs moves to sanction Leon for the 23 24 season due to, you know, basically they, they've messed up. They're, they're probably messed up. So this 21 million is done. And AC Milan only offered around 12 to 15 million for Pulis that show. It ain't looking good, people. I was excited yesterday giving you guys the latest Chelsea news on this topic. Leon, my word, if if this is, you know, 100%, I mean, GFFN, they do report everything on, on the French outlets. So, yeah, this ain't good news for Chelsea Football Club. If you're trying to get rid of Pulisic, which a lot of people were happy about, it's not going to happen, people, unfortunately. So that is, in terms of, like, the outgoings, Hudson and Doy, Pulisic expect to leave, of course. Ace Milan are now favourites to sign him. Damn, we're going to lose about six million minimum if we agree anything with Ace Milan currently. But Hudson, as I said, Ziet should be leaving. Um, and there was one more. You know, PYS even spoke about what I was echoing earlier. We need to sign experienced players. We're making a lot of money, a lot of sales. We're going to reinvest it by the top players, your Nanas. The Oshermans. And Carlito the Fraud wants me obviously to mention about this player. Everyone's very excited. This is this is my point. This is my point. Yes, he might join us, but is he ready for the first team? Huge, huge potential. Huge potential. Just like every signing we make, big potentials from these players. But we want ready made players. That's what I want. That's what you should want as all. Well. Can he come straight into the first team? Maybe. Small chance. 20 million, maybe. At the moment, we're currently in talks. Everyone's excited. Everyone's excited. Carlito's excited. Matt J. Ball, Jesters, everyone is excited about this one. We'll keep an eye on this one for sure. This is the first real news that I've seen in terms of, yeah, Chelsea going in for this player. So, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking about everything that I've spoken about so far. Casado, man, we need to get this deal sorted somehow. I don't know how. If we're not going to go over 18 million, and I don't think he's worth more than 80 million, then we need to con- reconsider everything. But Liverpool are looking at Lavia um, after signing their two midfielders already so far. So Chelsea need to move basically fast. It's either Casado or we fall back and sign someone else, maybe the Ajax. Ajax midfielders, I don't know. Remember, we're linked to Alvarez. I've not heard of that news anytime soon. I think he was being moved to Barca or PSG or something as well. So things are changing every single day. If you guys can, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification, tune in every single day, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, let me know where you're tuning in from. As I said, people, check out Sid TV. There'll be a video out today discussing all the latest transfer gossip around the world and signings that have been made by the big clubs, the European clubs, and the top six Premier League teams for sure. So that is everything from me. Wow. Chelsea news, people. We are currently 4th of July. Pre-season started, training started, everything has started, people. It is now time to get ready. We have to make these signings now, people. We have to make these signings. Poch, first training session, done. There's probably some new news if I refresh now. I guarantee you, there's always something. Three, two, one. Told you. Poch with the ball. Chelsea players did medical tests, gym workout, and we're out on the grass with the football. Cheers, Jeff. Chalab and Chua back in training. Cheers, Jeff. 
I know Jeff has retired. Also, that's false. Big Caesar here for Sterling. One of our own, Reese James. Thank you very much. Oh, this is what I like, people. Will they stay at Chelsea Football Club for the remainder of the season? Find out after the break, people. Andre Santos, saucy fam, saucy. Big player as well, which hopefully get a chance in this squad this season, man. But yeah, guys, like the video, man. I'm